Brilliant news! Bodybuilding is the use of progressive resistance exercise in order to control and develop one's musculature. An individual who engages in this activity is often referred to as a bodybuilder. Right. In professional bodybuilding, bodybuilders appear in lineups and perform specific poses in front of a panel of judges who rank the competitors based on criteria such as symmetry, muscularity, and conditioning. Sadly, some bodybuilders abuse drugs and other methods to make their bodies bigger. Here are some bodybuilders that took it too far. 1. Andreas Munzer One of the most tragic deaths in bodybuilding history. In March of 1996, Munza was experiencing severe stomach pains and was admitted to a hospital, and it turned out that he was internally bleeding. Damn. Yeah. His liver and kidney shut down and he sadly died. So that's just from overworking his body too much? Well, yeah. Uh, well, an autopsy revealed that over 20 different drugs were found in his system. His liver was filled with tumours and his heart was twice the size of an average heart. Damn. Man, why so, do that to yourself? Well, he's probably not aware. He's probably just, you know... Make it bigger, make it bigger, make it bigger! 2. Gary Hyman The Australian bodybuilder who was competing in the IFBB competition in Victoria, Australia suffered a heart attack and collapsed on stage during his set. Despite officials performing CPR, Hyming was pronounced dead at the hospital. Don't do drugs. Well, on the, on the, you know, I guess what you take away from this is the that it's a reminder, basically, to the bodybuilding world that, of the dangers of uh, steroid and drug abuse, you know? Yeah. Number three, Greg Valentino. Also known as the man whose arms exploded. What? Yeah. Greg Valentino represents a world where bodybuilders completely depend on drugs, steroids, and synthetic oil injections to achieve such results. But Valentino went too far and made his arms literally burst. His bicep became severely infected from a dirty needle, so he attempted to perform surgery on himself. What? Cutting it open and draining the blood. He later had to go to hospital. <sighs> Number four, Sally McNeil. She got into bodybuilding after she served in the Marine Corps and her husband Ray was also involved in the sport. However, Sally didn't react well to the massive amount of steroids and testosterone she was taking and she became prone to having what's known as roid rage, resulting in several different people being beaten up and the murder of her husband, Ray, by shooting him in the chest. What? I know, that's crazy what steroids can do. What? But she's now currently serving a, a lifetime in no Damn. Five, Arlindo de Salsa. AKA The Mountain, this Brazilian bodybuilder who was famous for his 29-inch fake biceps. Fake biceps? Okay, yeah, fake biceps. Admits to using a cocktail of oil and alcohol that he regularly injects into his arms and upper body in order to achieve this look. Yeah. So it's like Botox, but in, well, your, yeah, kind in of, your yeah. arms. <laughs> Doctors have warned Salsa about the high possibility of infection which would result in amputation, but he has ignored these recommendations and continues to work out with his makeshift arms in his makeshift gym. That, Man. That's his makeshift gym. That's, that's crazy. It's like he... He'd prefer to have his arms amputated. Well, you know, if he's, that's kind of what he I don't, I'm not going to look skinny. I have to look big. Number six, Aziz Saversian, also known as Ziz, was a famous young Russian-Australian bodybuilder. He established a cult following on YouTube. However, during a vacation in Thailand in 2011, Ziz suffered a heart attack inside a sauna. He was taken to a hospital, but doctors weren't able to revive him. He was 22 and died of a heart failure. Because, yeah, that age, you know, is... Even he if he's a big builder, it's, it's, very, it's very sad, it's very sad. Number seven, Mustafa Ismail. At 31 inches in diameter, which is about the average size of a human waistline, the controversial 2013 Guinness World Record holder for the biggest biceps, Mustafa Ismail, says he doesn't abuse any steroids or other drugs and claims to eat about seven pounds of protein every day. That's insane. Why? Well, Why are they guns? pushing well, because themselves he wants so the much? Biggest arms. But, however, however, um, the fitness community accuses him of injecting oil, known as synthol, directly into his arms. That's that's what the the other guy was injecting. Into yeah. His arms. That's what um, De Salsas. Yeah. This guy, but this guy says he was, he's not, but they suspect that he is. I mean, if you look look at the the two in comparison, the yeah. muscles kind of look quite similar. Kind of like big here, yeah, it's like... and then no, nothing anywhere else. But the shape's like whoop, and then whoop. Yeah. And that's it. It's... I can see why they would find that kind of a bit suspicious. They've got Botox pillow arms. <sighs> and finally, number eight, Marcus Rule. 
he currently has the biggest shoulders in bodybuilding history. He's also believed to be one of the strongest as well. However, in 1999 he was disqualified from the Mr. Olympia competition after testing positive for diuretics, which is a substance that promotes the production of urine by rejecting any form of water that enters the body. Rule believes that basically dehydrating the body of H2O would kind of make his muscles like pop out even more. It's just so devoted. And his veins. But to be fair, we are we have covered the extreme, the people who took it too far. Yeah. Which one of these do you think took it too far? The uh, one that was expl- his arms exploded. Definitely Greg too Valentino. far. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Please let us know in the comments below. 